welcome back to White Moose Lake, Alberta, Canada. I have been doing some farming up here uh, today. I did want to actually do this video about a week and a half ago, but just to kind of prove my point, I wanted to fill up a bag with uniques to show you guys. And I only kept uniques. And you can see we have 65 fish. Uh, and honestly, a person could do this much quicker. Uh, by the way, antlered salmon count towards uniques right now, uh, as always, I guess, but you can get them right now during the event. So right now, this event, if you want a person uh, wanted to farm uniques, this is the time to do it. Personally, I don't care about my stats because I go to a lot of places for these videos and uh, get a lot of stuff wrong before I start catching uniques because I start from square one. So I've never been a stat guy, but I know people out there do care about their uniques. And like I said, somebody could be doing quicker. Uh, honestly, because I had two poles, as you can see on snow here, yeah, for the Crystal Burba, and that definitely hurts your rate that you can pull in uh, furry trout and uh, the antlered salmon on them poles, guys. I do want to say a special thanks to... Um, uh, uh, Evil Peach and a bunch of other guys in here that have been shooting off fireworks vintage host was shooting off fireworks uh, and you know helping out because when you're up here you do need the fireworks to catch these guys but you don't have to shoot them off other people can shoot them off and these guys are more than a big help on this and like I said guys uh, just to show you to I 1107 or 1108 on uniques before I started this bag and we have 1173 yeah so 65 uniques in one bag and honestly if you really wanted to do your best for the bag and really put a bag together just to say you did it once you could dump these lake trout and get more than 70 possibly up to 80 if you really wanted to uh, I didn't do that I literally just didn't keep trophies or commons that's all I did uh, I did but then you know keep the lake trout and to be honest it's not a bad bag I don't recommend farming uniques this way by the guy way guys I recommend keeping everything when you're up here if you're gonna farm uniques the value is actually more uh, I normally get 60 or 70,000 or 65 70,000 per bag on premium up here while I was doing my antlered salmon and furry trout missions so but i'm not going to be farming these anymore i am done with them i am you know gonna touch up my crystal burr bot uh and got some left on there but that's it i just wanted to show you guys a really cool way to farm uniques if you wanted to i don't know if stats are important to you they're really not important to me i've spent a lot of times for example I probably have four or five, six thousand fish, maybe even sitting trying to get the angler machine, you know, a few months ago at uh, at Rocky Lake, and there's no uniques on that when you're doing the one by one there. So and like I said, thanks to these guys and God of You and a bunch of others that helped with shooting fireworks off, so I didn't have to shoot off a million. But I advanced to came back left and came back so it could come during the day so you guys could see the spot here uh, but anyways I've been using shiners on a six out hook and the reason for that is it eliminates the little furry trout and a lot of little brook trout from this spot and you can just get unis here um, this is where I get you my uni uh, a unique antler salmon and the unique furry trout and the trophy or the unique brook trout as well was all from right here and I will show you the coordinates. I just was thrown out to the marks with two poles. I did have two more, but them were four crystal blur bots as well. Off to the other side. So this is the mark right here. Oh, this is the mark right here. And if you're going for the furry trout, you normal the challenge is to use a four. But if you're going to farm uniques, go with the six and eliminate the little guys. And that will help you out a lot. The mark is 30 and by 14 and just throw out it's about 70 feet right off the dock here and so hopefully this helps you out guys and we'll see you next time <laughs> 